गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ मोदी पब्लिक स्कूल टुडे वी विल रीड चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ कंप्यूटर फॉर क्लास सेवेंथ द चैप्टर नेम इज यूजिंग एक्सेल एज अ डेटा बेस कंटेंट्स वी आर गोन कवर आ डेटा बेस यूजिंग अ फॉर्म टू एंटर डेटा एडिंग एंड सर्चिंग अ रिकॉर्ड इन अ फॉर्म sorting and filtering data adding subtotal in database analyzing data with pivot table what is database a database is collection of information related to a particular object it helps the user to organize retrieve sort and edit data as per their requirements it helps the user to organize retrieve sort and edit data as per their requirements database consists of fields and records as we can see in the table given below that is excel database there are different fields with field names and multiple records entered in this database fields what are fields a column within a database that contains only similar type of data is called fields for example roll number name address are different fields records a row in a database is called a record that consists of information about one person or one object for example in the given figure the data वन जीरो वन अंजू सेवेंटी फाइव एटी टू नाइन्टी टू हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव एटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन दीज आर ऑल द एंट्रीज वन जीरो सेवन अंकिता एटी सेवन एटी फाइव एटी एट टू सिक्सटी एट्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन फॉर्म्स आर forms a record of ankita now field name it is a column label for the field in a database all the field names appear in one row for example roll number name english hindi maths total and percentage are the field names of in the given database using a form to enter data a form is a window that contains numerous fields to enter modify and view one record at a time each field holds a field name so that any user who views the form or enter data in it gets an idea of its contents forms often contain command buttons and other controls that perform various tasks as you can see from excel di option dialog box how we can open it by clicking on quick access toolbar select the option from the drop down form click on the drop down arrow of choose commands forms the list box select commands not in the ribbon option from the drop down list and choose the form command click on the add button which is in between the two boxes click okay and you will find the form button of green color on the quick access toolbar there is an important note before adding a record in the form the worksheet must have field names at the top of each column microsoft excel uses these field names as a adding a new record and searching a record in a form 
adding a new record in a form using the data form we can add a new record in the database follow these steps to enter new records given below is a form showing addition of a record click on the cell a1 select the form button on the quick access toolbar the sheet 1 dialog box appears it contains the record of the first student in your database to add a new record click on the new button which you can see on the right side of that box type the data in the respective fields of the form on the left side the fields are roll number name english hindi maths total and percentage after you have finished typing data press enter key to add the row to the bottom of the range or table you can move to the previous or next record by clicking on the find previous and find next buttons respectively click on the close button to close the data form next is searching a record this option is used to search records with specific values given below is the box for searching a record using a form here click on the form button select the criteria button in the sheet 1 dialog box type the data that you want to search in the appropriate field for example type 104 in roll number text box and press the enter key if the record exists the matches and matches the given value for the field it will be displayed otherwise the first record will be displayed next is sorting data what do we understand by sorting sorting means arranging the data either in an ascending or descending order in a worksheet data can be sorted in rows on the basis of text numbers of numbers or dates once the data is organized it becomes easy to work on it open any worksheet and select the cell range that you want to sort for example click on cell c b2 now select the sort button from this sort and filter group in the data tab the sort dialog box appears and the entire database gets selected now what value you want to search suppose you want to search the name field then select the values option from the sort on drop down list select the sorting order from the order drop down list if sort by contains alphanumeric data then a to z option gets selected automatically in case sort by contains numeric data that is smallest to largest option gets selected select the my data has headers checkbox to exclude the first row click okay the database will be sorted in descending order on the basis of name field in excel you can also sort more than one column for example after sorting by name if you want to arrange the list of roll number you can see here in the uh, next box adding level by this you can do the same click on the add le level button in the sort dialog box a new level gets added below the first level select the column name as roll number in the then by drop down list and order of sorting as largest to smallest in the order drop down list in the new level click okay filtering data the filter feature is one of the interesting features of excel which help us to display as the name suggests only those records that meets the specified criteria and hide the rest of the records here is we can see a table using filter command how it looks like select any cell within the database range say d1 click on the filter button in the sort and filter group in the data tab 
which is highlighted here small arrows will be added in the column head these arrows are used to specify conditions to filter the data likewise we can filter the data according to the requirements adding subtotal in database the subtotal feature in a database helps us to manage analyze and extract specific information from rows of related data to apply subtotals the database must be sorted let us learn the use of this feature through the given table here is a table of data for subtotal then subtotal dialog box and last the result of subtotal to apply subtotal the data must be sorted in the final table we can see the sorted data how it looks like here are the entries of sales executives month wise their sales and their sales so the total of october month is given after sorting the total of november month is given and at the end grand total is done analyzing data with pivot table a, the pivot table is a powerful tool for consolidating summarizing and presenting the data to create a pivot table enter the data in a new worksheet and select the entire data range here is given a data for pivot table with different field names and records enter the given data in a new worksheet and select the entire data range choose the insert tab pivot table option in the tables group the create pivot table dialog box appears in the table range text box the range that you have selected for the pivot table is displayed now you will do the new worksheet radio button is selected by default click okay the create pivot table dialog box closes after doing all the operations your pivot table will look like here is the pivot table fields list and its layout the previous data is arranged here in pivot table as we can see name of employees their designation their salaries according to that here the designation is separated and we have different field names for different designations and at the end the grand total is given of an employee on the left side of the table here is a pivot table fields list from where we can select the field names name department designation salary and different tables this is how our pivot table layout looks thank you friends thank you students for watching hope you all are having good times at home stay home stay safe bye